Okay, someone asked, what do you think of the Debian Linux distribution? Do you think it is safe and private option for personal use and for use with cryptocurrency wallets? We have a whole Techler clips about this. It's actually one of our most popular Techler clips, and it was asked. <laughs> popular. And we talked about Notorious, it. Notorious, maybe. <laughs> yeah, infamously, because uh, people were really pissed. Because um, when Debian 12 came out, I think that's the newest one. Is it 12? Yeah. We we had a whole discussion about how, yeah, it's cool. People are talking about how Debian has all these new features, and they're finally up to date with all their software and the desktop environment. But the whole way Debian works is that like it just inherently falls behind super quickly, and it becomes a very hard distribution to recommend, um, just from a pure use case usability perspective. On desktop, um, for sure. On desktop. It, I think it's safe, it's private, it's a good OS, but no, it's not something that I'm going to recommend as like an average recommendation for people to use Linux. I think you're much better off using something like Fedora or even some other things. Like I, I'd probably recommend Ubuntu or like Pop! OS well before I recommended Debian to an average user. Mm -hmm. um, I know that's a hot take with Ubuntu, but Ubuntu gets consistent updates and it's always going to be more modern than Debian. But if you're fine with Debian, then it works. I don't know if your your opinions have evolved since we got slandered and demolished by all the Debian lovers, which again, it's <laughs> fine. I used to use Debian too. It's just not something we even said there. It's it's for a different use case. Like it's good for servers and it's good for things, but not maybe yeah. like the average desktop user. I'm just really not a fan of it on desktop. And I really feel like it just, to me, to get a usable desktop experience with Debian, what you're going to end up doing is enabling a lot of like third party repositories and other things to like get updates quicker because sometimes you need things. And when you have so many different sources of apps on Linux, you're going to run into like inconsistency issues. Things aren't going to work properly because Debian only designs their operating system to work perfectly with all of the apps that they ship in their official repos. And when you venture outside of that, you're going to run into compatibility issues. It's just a huge mess, in my opinion, compared to distros, which release things more regularly and have more of a guarantee that things are actually going to work together across different versions and that kind of thing. Um, it's, yeah, I, <laughs> I could talk about desktop Debian for a while, but it's just, it's not something that I think is a good idea. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Here's another clip for you. And if you want to really dive into tech, check out our main channel, TechLore, for a deeper dive into digital rights, privacy, security, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.